What's good, it's TB here and in today's video I will be covering my training routine and freestyle. The video is finally here, you've all been waiting for and this is you getting it right now. So what I'm going to be doing in this video actually is explaining like in depth my training routine and how it's gone, what I do specifically and any tips and tricks I can give. And then I'll also be covering my freestyle and you know how to freestyle tips and tricks and how to actually get started doing it because it's mad, it's a mad trust me. Because when you think about it, you know, if you can go up to somebody and start freestyling madness, do you know what I'm trying to say? They're gonna be like And then when you pull up, you know, you tell them you're training and everything, they'll be like So that is why it is an incredible thing to have. Not only just for that, just it can also be good to, you know, to, to, to benefit yourself as well. So that was just like a basic rundown. I don't wanna keep the I wanna keep the intro as short as possible because We've got a lot to cover in today's video, so let's get on with it. So I will see you guys downstairs because it is breakfast. Let's go. Okay, so in this part of the video, what I'm going to be speaking about is my own training routine. And so my own training routine consists of just the, basically the compound lifts with like two to three isolation movements. And you probably like, Taylor, why are you actually doing that? And the reason is because when I first started, I used to do all isolation movements, basically. And I kind of used to scared away from the main compound lifts. What I've realized over time, though, is that the compound lifts are the main ones you want to do because they work the most muscle mass of the longest effective, and that's the key point, effective range of motion, and therefore you can use the heaviest weights. Now in my mind, that it doesn't make any sense then to do isolation movements because compound lifts will wear the most muscle mass, and therefore you can lift the heaviest weight. So why would you do isolation lifts? What I'm going to do now is just show some footage of actually the squat, the bench, and the deadlift. So for the squat, as you can see from the video here, it's a good movement because it, ba it basically works all the muscles in the entire body, the same as the deadlift, but the squat is a really good movement because mostly, if you use a specific form, it depends which form you're using, but if you use a specific form, it can work the posterior chain fairly well. And then the footage right now is the bench, and the bench is good for usually just upper body strength, but it's actually a good movement anyway for like vertical pushing, it, but in, like a, in a vertical 90 degree way. And then you've got the deadlift, which is very, really good, kind of like the squat works basically every muscle in the body and it's just good for a pulling movement and grip strength as well, it's really good for that. Chin-ups, they're pretty good for upper body strength. You've then got your back extensions, they're pretty good for your lower back as well, as long as your glutes and your legs as well. And I'd say another compound, if you could call it, is the overhead press or press, that's a really good movement for your upper body. It actually can be made to be a full body movement, it depends, as I said what before, what form you actually use in the movement. But they're really all the lifts I actually do complete in the gym, and you're probably thinking, oh, that's not a large amount. Right, but if I were to just do all isolation lifts, yeah, I wouldn't see any progress, because working a lot of muscle mass, working the larger muscle groups will grow faster than the smaller muscle groups. It's facts, it's like, if you work your legs, they're bound to grow faster than your biceps. Like, do, do not lie to yourself. Okay, so right now I'm going to give a few examples of why compound lifts usually work better than isolation lifts. Number one, for a novice person in the gym, they will make much faster gains with compound lifts than isolation movements. Every single time in the book. It's so true because you're working way more muscle mass. Their squat, bench and deadlift will go up loads. Compared to an isolation lift, the tricep pushdown might go up a tiny amount. Not too much though. So that's the number one reason Number two, isolation movements can't really progress a lot throughout the many years to come. They can improve, but eventually you'll hit the plateau or you'll actually max out the weight. Compared to compound lifts, you can theoretically keep adding more weight and weight and weight and weight over many years. So that's the increasable amount of weight you can use on the 
compound lifts compared to the isolation lifts. And the third point is that really, in my mind, isolation lifts are assistance exercises for the main compound lifts. That just makes sense to me because I'm trying to do a lot of isolation work. I understand why people do it. I'm not trying to say it's bad or anything like that. I'm just trying to say that. I think people should be more focused on the compound lifts. Like, that's what I'm focused on. And I feel like that's really important because all these isolation work, you know, is nice, but really the compound lifts are what develop you the most. So I, I, I think in aesthetics and strength and everything. So yeah, I'm just about to get ready for the gym, so I'll see you there. I'm, I'm gonna vlog and I'll say some extra stuff while I am walking there. That's something people struggle with as well, vlogging in public, but guess what, on TV, I don't give a damn, so I'll see you there, take care. Okay, so I've just come back from the gym, good session, honestly, and I'm now ready to have lunch, I'm really excited, so I'll meet you guys there. What the fuck? So yeah, basically, I've just come back from the gym, good training session, I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna go have lunch now downstairs, I'm gonna take you there, I'll see you there in a second. Take care. Okay, so I'm now in the kitchen, I'm gonna go and do my lunch, so I'll do like a POV sort of action, so you can see them making me much better, so yeah, just enjoy. Alright, so the last time you actually saw me was when I was at the gym session, but since then I've came back, finished that, I went driving because I've got my test coming up on Saturday, which I know I'll pass, so I had to do some driving because it's in Hinkley, so it's a different place, and then I had to have my dinner, which took a tiny bit of extra time, but now I'm here and I'm going to be freestyling for you all, and what I'm going to be doing is showing some clips of me actually freestyling, and then afterwards I'll give you some tips and tricks, and then actually explain why I freestyle and why I enjoy doing it because as I said, it's all about improving for me and you can do any, if you can do anything and improve at it, why not try it? So I'm going to be freestyling right now and I hope you enjoy it. I'm in a bad throne freestyling every day Yeah, they try to pull me down, they're still trying to call me gay I don't listen, I move on, I vacate Guess what, I pull up on your blog and I stomach I exterminate your whole crew, that's sad They got put in the grave, yeah, cause I'm already paid Yeah, but, but I spray 40 on my waist Got a fitty clip for your place So I pull up to your place Shoot up the whole scene Now they gone away They gone away to jerk pain you know I'm talking about Yeah, I hang them there All that's already said right now But I don't give a damn I move on, I really swipe right now Someone don't listen, I just keep playing I'm freestyling but I really do be playing With these girls on the ground But they're still trying to follow me Yeah, they lurking, but they, they really got a purpose Try to take me down to number one I said no one makes me Yeah, yeah, I'm really tough But I'm not fucked I really grow On the road to victory, I'm stoned But I don't take drugs, that's a lie Never spoke me once in my life. Ha, so I still flow. I'm in a bowl, yeah, let me roll. People trying to walk in on me saying I'm a bowl. But I already know I'm on a roll. Oh, so, so I flow. In the Bugatti, yeah, to our way down the road. Ha, ha, my apple. Father Day, yeah, where's my strawberry snapple? How you see me freestyling, there's no lyrics. Looking at the camera said, let me take my picture Ha, so I go like Kobe Hit him like a baseball bat, hit him like a wave cap Make a lemon bullet where your face at I'm in the house freezing every day where your face at Oh, gone away, I took this in the grave You ever roll your life like dough or cook you on a goddamn stove Huh? Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
Yeah, I'm flowing every day, there's no delay. Yeah, I run up on my block, and I'll shoot you in the face, ay. I got a brand new golden AK. Put you in the grave, yeah, you are OJ. OJ, yeah, where's my juice? Yeah, fill up, yeah, where my crew? I'm with the crew every day, I'm really blowing. But I don't blow pipes, yeah, I'll cook you on the stove, I'm really flowing. Yeah, I'm on the kayak. Ride around like, where my bike at? But I don't have one, so they're on Craigslist Motherfucker, you turn, but you were naked Then you wanna get sex, I said no I said I got a Glock, put you on the stove I said I'll roll your lot, play though, it's all good Where's your money, you look blue, where's Nintendo? Yeah, I'll play you like a game, one up your bitch Mario Kart, yeah, slam you in this bitch Every day, no delay I'm going to the top, yeah, I'm number one in the game yeah, you watching my freestyle on this beat Yeah, say it, clash your clans Yeah, go watch my new shit Yeah, my content blowing up Motherfucker ain't look Check the camera, I'm really tough But I have, I don't lie on this beat Clash your clans is real good Johnny's level 6 Huh? Huh? Got my dragons Invade your base, yeah I'm really snapping Yeah, got these bars They really good Pull up on your base But it ain't from the hood yeah, I'll take your troops, and I'll take your bike I'll take your to town hall, and I'll take your life I'll take your archer queen, she coming over She says she wants sex, but I said you ain't coming over We ain't doing that, that's not how I go I flow every day, yeah, yeah, I'm in the rose She can't come in, where's the king? You wanna fuck you say, you a ring Where's my ring on my finger, ain't none If you don't marry, we ain't fucking, Oh. Okay, okay, on this beat. About to end, but I'm still on this bitch. The end of this beat is so hard, I ain't drank tiny water, I might be tested God. Huh? Huh? I go so, ooh, 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 end of the beat, ooh, 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 end of the beat. End of the beat, end of the beat, end of the ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah, ah. ah. Ooh. Oh, 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 okay, 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 brah! Alright, so right now I'm on Clash of Clans, and as you can see, I've got so much loot. I've got my Dark Elixir, I've got my Elixir, and I've got my Gold. The reality is, is that this base has not changed for like six months to a year, literally. I've been town all night for about two years, mate. My, my walls have been maxed out at level 10 for about two years. Everything's been maxed out, but I've just got all these troops ready for a raid because I thought I'd do like, back in the old days, like a live raid. I've got six peckers, five wall breakers, 15 wizards, and then for the spells, I have conjured up. How many spells have I got? I have got one heal spell, two raid spells, and two freezing spells. So we're going to get into this raid right now. Quick base overview, I guess. Tunnel level nine, basically everything is maxed. Basically everything. Um, the Archer Queen is level 27 and King is 26. And as you know, 30 is the max. So really, I've nearly got max heroes as well. So that's really good. Also, I joined a new clan, which is good. So there's just some new people in here. I don't particularly know who they are. But, you know, it's a fun, it's a fun, it's a fun thing. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's a good thing. But let's just get into this raid. Okay, so I've just found a base. It's got 4K Dark Elixir. That's pretty good. Haven't done a raid in about two years, but I'm going to give it a go. I'm pretty good. So let's give it a go. Okay, so what we're going to do is just going to break some walls down, as you know, just to allow the troops in. So we'll go from the right. No, actually, we'll put some wizards down to make an entry and then we'll do the wall breakers. Okay, so now we've made the entrance, we're going to do some wall breakers. Put some wizards down and then put the wall breakers in so we just get through there. There you go. So now we've made an entrance, now we're going to do the peckers. Go on, go on, bruh. Oh, she five shots that thing. Damn, let's go. Okay, looking alright, to be honest, not terrible. As you can see, Basically, it's like we've gone around the base, which was his main design, but still, we did pretty well as our first raid. We still took over 3k, which is really good. Okay, so what I'm going to be speaking about right now is my training routine, and specifically, other routines I've actually tried. So what I have tried before, 
push pull legs that split of three three and then then one rest day and i've also tried five times five like strong lifts but what i've actually found is that me just compiling all of the compound lifts into like a program i.e the squat bench deadlift press some chin-ups and then maybe some assistance tiny bit of assistance works like barbell curls or you know tricep push downs they actually work the best because they work the most amount of muscle mass over the longest range of motion and therefore you can lift the heaviest weights so basically every muscle in the body is being trained in that case and so it works better than any really isolation type program such as the push pull legs five times five is pretty good but that's still got some isolation and things in so the reason why I chose what I do right now, which is just compiling all the compound lifts together and just doing them, is because first of all, I enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, you will give up eventually. So always enjoy it. Second of all, it should be structured in a way that works the whole body systemically over, say, three days a week. Why train Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Like I've done. So if you do that systemically, it will, it, you will have better progress than just training arms on one day and chest on another day. You're hitting basically nearly all the muscle groups three times a week. Pretty good. So what can you say? That is a big myth, to be completely honest, in terms of training frequency. People think you train more, you actually, you know, grow more. That's so not true, really. It's the recovery. If you train three times a week, you can get very good progress. I remember when I first started, I was doing training six times a week. That was not nice. And I didn't make literally any progress. But as soon as I, you know, did three times a week, but did the compound lifts, my progress shot up. Also eating correctly, sleeping correctly. Basically training, recovery, eating, and the main three principles. If you train good enough and hard enough, you'll make progress. If you eat correctly and have the right macronutrients and the right calories, you'll make progress. And if you actually recover correctly, i.e. sleep enough, and actually don't do many activities which actually disrupt your um, recovery, it will go well. And you will make progress. So what I'm overall trying to say is that you should experiment what program you're trying to use. Just because one person uses that program doesn't mean it's going to work for you. You need to experiment, see what works for you, and then change it up accordingly. Say you did three sets and you felt a bit, you know, maybe a bit overtrained. Not, not overtrained, but in terms of you felt a bit tired. Wait until the next morning and see if you feel all right. Maybe do two sets next time. And you just have to mess about with it. It's really trial and error, a lot of training. And that's truly what it comes down to. And only the winners usually progress and keep, and keep improving. So that's really all I wanted to speak about in terms of other programs I've tried, but just know that I have tried other things and they don't work as well as the main compound lifts I'm doing. The reality is they're difficult, but they train everything and that is how you'll make the most progress. That is why the most weight really ever been lifted is via a deadlift to 500 kilo to 501. Really, the deadlift is a movement, obviously because it's over the middle of your foot, that's the main thing about the compound lifts. You can lift so much weight because it's over the middle of your foot. Pick up a 700 pound stone. Exactly, so it's, it changes depending on what you're doing, but overall I'll just say, enjoy it, enjoy it, actually like, enjoy it. If, maybe at the start you might not enjoy it, but over time you will enjoy it, trust me, and it is difficult, and there are times where I'm like, I don't really particularly want to be under this bar, and it's tricky, but you've got to do it, because that is how you make progress, and I'm sitting here right now, and I can truly say that from my heart, so I just wanted to share that with everybody, so that they know that you've got a choice, don't let people pressure you into doing what you're doing, but show people the science behind, it. I have a load of science behind, what I've been doing, and so that is the biggest thing. If you have science behind it, trust me, you will convince anybody. But yeah, that's how I usually make a program, like in terms of if it's any good or not. It's got to have science behind it. It's got to have science behind it. Why the form is, why it is, why is it perform that specific way, and how's it going to help my programs, where does it want to go? But especially for beginners, I'd recommend doing just a compound list five times five starting strength method for any beginner because that's the best way that to foundation to make a foundation for your strength. So if you go with one of these uh, five times five starting strength methods, compound lift programs. If you then transition to intermediate program, which you eventually will, you can follow things which still have their movements in, but some more assistance work. So there's always a path to follow. You've just got to be knowledgeable of, okay, do I actually want to do this or do I want to do that? The reality is, is the, the more weight you lift, the bigger you're going to get. Like everybody thinks it's disconnected, like the old strength is different from the size. It's really not, it genuinely isn't, but it depends on your genetics as well. So don't let people fool you. But overall, I'd just say, do what you love, do what you enjoy, and even if it is difficult, you, know, you still continue and never give up. That is that mindset you need to be a winner. So yeah, I just thought I'd say this right now, but I'm just downstairs, I'm just chilling, I'm gonna probably make my lunch. So I'll catch you guys when I see you next, which will probably be just speaking about something different. Okay, so I'll see you guys then. Peace. Okay, so I'm in a different room right now, but I just want to speak about one more thing before I end up the video. That is the microphone. I am looking to buy a brand new microphone. It's like a Tascam DS10, and that will basically increase 
the audio quality and make it much better and sound it, make it much clearer. So this is really important because it's improving my obviously quality of the video but also just the production quality now. In, in, in terms of the microphone it's going to really help but also I'm looking into getting an actual camera and lighting like I'm trying to really improve my videos like fully so that it always just works very well and it's very professional, that's what I'm trying to do. And it's not just about the equipment, I'm also trying to learn how this stuff works because I'm shooting on an iPad Pro, which is pretty good. I'm not trying to say it's, it's really bad, it's really good, but I know the audio could be improved, I know the lighting could be improved, and also shooting with a camera just allows more versatility. So that is why I'm just thinking about upgrading all of these things. And it's not like people think I do waste money, but the reality is that's not wasting money, that's just investing in my future and what I want to do. And, and the reality is, is I want to do this, and so I'm trying to have the equipment available to me. And it is, well, I can genuinely say I could go out with, if I had access to this money, I could easily go out and buy all the equipment I need, genuinely. But I've got, I've just got, I've got a car so I can drive, but that money, I wouldn't even have to spend much of it, and I could literally get all the equipment I need, and then I could just, and then all of that extra money, I could usually just use for that bills and everything. And so really, I'm looking at getting stuff. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you know because I am good, I am willing to pay money and try to upgrade like the quality of my videos because I really do enjoy it and so I want to make them much better than they currently are so yeah so hopefully that audio quality bump should be very soon actually I'm going to order it very soon so that will be coming soon but just hopefully you guys understand and you know can appreciate that I'm really trying so okay so that's going to be the end of the video but I just wanted to say that I do truly appreciate all the support and love and the thing is I am really trying to upload two times a week as if you've noticed with my videos that I've really done one video a week for the past probably three or four weeks not really intentionally just really what I realized is that other factors in your life external factors can affect your your what you want to do so for like what I want to do right now which is content creation other factors of my life are really affecting it and I can name one big one and that is sleep my sleeping routine is not very great and I am trying to honestly actively change that like I am getting it back into that routine and the, and, and the thing is is that that will allow me to upload two videos a week so just please know that I am trying and I will be getting two videos a week out very soon trust me and it's just going to be a much better process for me it'll, it'll be much better content for you people but yeah I am trying to make that that commitment and I will genuinely I will it just takes time and I've got to re fix these external factors and then my and then my content will be much better I know it will so just like to thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. Please hit the subscribe button as you know. Follow my Instagram, TB underscore SBD. Squat bench deadlift. If nobody even caught on somehow. But yeah, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.